Hey everybody, Jenny and Bill, Warehouse Creations, we got another kiln opening coming at you and we hope you like some of the stuff we have. Uh, some of it is a little bit of experimental stuff and then some of it is just our regular everyday. So, what you think? Moaning Myrtle, here we go. Here we go. <gasps> Ooh, and she moans. It did. Sweet. All right. Let's take a look. Here we go. Shelf one. Looking at this. Uh, we'll just start with a couple of simple bowls that I did. That's cool. Did a little chattering, and then I put some uh, Terra Red Slip into the chatter, wiped it back. This one's got a uh, coyote eggshell on the inside right there, and it's just clear on the outside, so you can see a little bit of the difference there in the light. What clay body is that? That is Dark Star. Dark Star, yeah. That's Dark Star, and comparatively, that is just clear on both sides of that. So, I think I like just the clear. I like the eggshell. Well, there you go. <laughs> go figure. All right. This is really pretty. This is a Della Designs uh, template. It's just the box. And I used a uh, the stamp that I made to go into the sides. And I don't know off the top of my head. I'm not sure what the, the glaze is. I should have that. Um, and I will scroll that through. We're still suffering from the loss of the phone, which had all of her glaze information in it. So It's we're, blue. We're struck. It is blue. <laughs> Thinking maybe a little blue routine or something in there, along with some other stuff. Yep. Um, let's reclaim. Reclaim. So it's a bunch of different clay. Mm -hmm. All right. A little kiln top. Hot five, chill six. So we're somewhere in that five and a half, which is kind of where we're shooting for throughout the kiln. I'm gonna hit that one. Yeah, that didn't turn out like I had hoped it would. Right. It's kind of cool. This had um, a dragon stencil stencil that I had in it on stencil. it. Stencil. You're from the south. I'm from the south. I'm tired. <laughs> it's um, a dragon stencil that I put white slip over. And then this was uh, wasabi on the dragon, just kind of in a circle. Um, that was times two. And then the outside of it was um, deep sea times three, I believe. I didn't do very, I didn't do very um, even coats because I wanted it to be a little, uh, not splotchy, but a little distressed, I guess. Um, but I had hoped that it, there would be more green here and that the, the dragon would have popped a little more. I don't even know if you can see that. Now, I do like the texture. The texture of that is really cool. Um, I used the... <laughs> you know what that is? Um, is that my fishnet stockings? No. <laughs> no. That is the, the, the mesh that's on the outside of a bottle of liquor. <laughs> oh. The little yeah, bottle wrappers. Uh, all right, had Sorry. a little child interruption. That's the way it works with the family. Um, so one of my favorite glazes, of course, has always been model blue. It does not, however, uh, you know, I've been working on this last kiln. We had some, it's a little thick and it's still a little thick. It didn't, it didn't bleed in or it didn't absorb into the texture. It didn't do its thing. As much it? as I'd like. The top looks great. Did what it's supposed to. Lovely dark break around the top with that beautiful, modeled color but it just didn't absorb into here so i'm gonna work on that some more maybe a little more thinning of that to do a uh, little noodly bowl some more noodly bowl action this is on dark star and that is um like a chino. that is a chino it's probably light chino over that i can check real quickie I'll if you want we'll put it in the video we're gonna put it it'll go It'll go like right there. Or it could or maybe it'll go around here. <laughs> Who knows? Anyway, that's yeah, probably light Sheena. Oh, here. All right. This one I'm excited about. This is another Della Designs um, template. This is her um, canister set. This one 
turned out exactly like I was hoping it would. This was kind of an experiment. What this is, it's on Reclaim. Um, most of the Reclaim that we have is a mix of uh, standard 240, which is a white clay, and standard 112, which is a, um, a brown clay. Little loafers thrown in there some. Yep. Um, a little red. But what what I like about this is that it is um, uh, desert sage on the out, the whole thing on the outside and on the inside is desert sage. And then I took a jelly plate. I'll put a description of a jelly plate in the, the I'll put it somewhere. But on this, I put a, um, a layer of Chino on the jelly plate. And then I took a placemat and put it on that and then stamped it onto this and look I, I'm hoping that the camera's picking this up because this looks really cool, how this turned out. There's the top, too. I mean, I'm just, I'm really excited about this. Plus the fact that, that it fits. So, yeah, I'm, um, I'm excited about this. This is something that worked out really well. And I do have scoops that go along with this, and I think they might be down further in the kiln. Hopefully they have survived. I don't know but we will find out. All right, so we're getting down into, uh, oh, let me put this away. <laughs> oh, something, something. Ooh, Abby's bowls. Abby Irby, gonna be happy. Can I pick those up first? Sure. This is a noodle bowl that was commissioned by a friend of mine. Not really commissioned. We don't do commissions. But she asked me if I could do a face bowl in sunset colors. And so Bill threw the noodle bowl and I did the scratched faces in here uh, with a kind of an ombre effect with, I believe, that was, it's all underglaze with a clear coat on top. This is, it's all speedball under glazes and I'll, I'll put the description uh, up here, but I'm, I'm really pleased with that. This one has the faces on the inside oh. and the outside, and this one just has it on the outside. And I did scratch through, so you see the underglaze with where I scratched, where the white is that comes through. I like that distressed look. I think that's really cool. So I hope that Abby likes these. She gets one of them. I don't think she wants both, but there you go. So I'm, I'm, I'm happy with that. Sweet. Well, let's just stick with noodle bowls. At this one, this is just a refire. The uh, obsidian was not behaving. It was a, it was a new mix, and it had it. Uh, crawled a little bit, but yeah, all's good. It's fixed. No little spots. And then this is also a refire, and it had some pinholes right around this area. And it looks like it has repaired itself. Look at the inside of that. That's so, really pretty. That's eggplant, isn't it? it? Uh, this is a, a whole bunch of different things. Okay. It's got some eggplant. It's got some cobalt. It's got some azurite. That will definitely have a description probably scrolling. That Yeah, because this has been fired. This is the third. And it's a good thing because I'm not going three times. I'm not going after three times. <laughs> Once it's three times, if it ain't good, it don't want to be good. What we got in here, these are some garden discs that I had. Um, I make little, like, garden hangy things with um, manganese. Hangy things. Hangy That's, things. Yeah, manganese wash on the back so that I can put them down uh, on the kiln shelf without them sticking. So the manganese wash on the pattern on the back and then just whatever glaze I'm using at the time, I just glaze these. I try to keep as many of these uh, on hand as I can just because they're easy to do. And if I wanted to try a new pattern or a new texture, I'll just, I'll do that and see what happens. And I never write these down because I'm using, you know, whatever glazes and I know it's just kind of fun to figure out, well, <laughs> what is this? I don't know. Um, like this one, I know that one is Smoky Merlot just because I, I, I know Smoky Merlot. Um, Hi, Smokey. Hi, Smokey. Smokey. But that, the texture was a, uh, a, a doily that I just put in to the clay. This one, that is really cool. And I think that is uh, tiger eye, tiger's eye, I think. But these are just, they don't, they don't really count. 
for anything because they're just garden discs. But I mean, I I think they're cool. What you got? You got definitely a strong fight. I am a believer in cones. If you don't use a cone, you don't know what it did. Uh, so in this one, uh, that's right at the three o'clock mark. So I'm gonna call that, as they would say in the box or the instructions, that is a six. So it's not strong six, not a weak six. I'm calling it dead on. So there you go. Just a six. Hey, that's what we want. Five and a half, six, and we're gold, we're good. Uh, these are pretty simple things. A couple of, uh, Mugs on some reclaim with some eggshell. Just simple stuff. A little bit of rib action right there. A little texture. Anyway, just fun. And then we got a couple more. Yeah. I'll edit that out. It's a little action. A couple of little soap bottles. Uh, similar to the other one that was modeled. Um, this is, let's go through our pictures here. We'll find out. This is a light chino. Uh, looks like it was not as thick as I would like to have been, so it didn't get as much light, but it does have a little bit of variation in there. And this one looks like dessert shade. Yeah, I'll have to look and see. That might be a light blue chino. Yeah, right in there, light blue chino. Either one of them, neither one of them, thick enough. May refire, who knows, may not. I would check it with my cork, but I don't know where my cork is. Hey guys, we're gonna dig down here and get another shelf going. All right, pick up where we left off, I think. Got some more of those garden discs. Do you have any idea what the glazes are on that? That looks like blue retail. Blue That's definitely some blue retail. Uh, eggplant. There's an eggplant. What do you think? What do y'all think? I don't mm. know. Can't really see that in the light. It's it's light bluey kind of. Bluey. Color. Anyway, those will hang in somebody's garden. Make them happy. All right, here's some refires. Oh yeah. Okay. I don't those. know if I I can't even remember if we did a video. I don't know if that was on the last one or not. But this was a, a plate set that I was working on. Oh, that's nice. Um, and it, it did much better the second time. Oh my gosh, yeah. That looks a lot better than it used to. Uh, these are, um, I used the Y2 system from GR Pottery Forms to make this set. And I'm really, I love this. That's just really cool. This is my stuff. This is what I love to do. It's not, there, there is nothing about this that is perfect. Um, I mean, the plate is, it's flat and it's a perfect plate. Well, not perfect, but you know. But the glaze, it's just, it's so weird. <laughs> it's just, I like it. But there is a place setting. Just one, just one. I like it. All right. Oh, look, a scoop. A little Ugly. scoop. Ugly. Well, just kind of plain. Somebody might not find it ugly. No, it's ugly. It's just not a, you know. This is it's not a, a dazzling glaze. No, but again, this is what I was talking about. The Della Designs um, from Debbie Della Cruz. This is this is the scoop from her. Um, and that was a once fire. Once fire. Mm -hmm. yep. But as were the bottles. Her, the color, that's just hideously ugly. Those bottles were once fires. And I think everything. That looks like poop. <laughs> It's a poop scoop. It's a poop scoop. <laughs> I'm not getting my hands that close. But no, you can, you know, you got a little sh well, I made a handle container of sugar. You can get your sugar or your flour out. You I made, made a handle? handle for, yeah, I made a handle for it. Um, what did you, what happened? But it got too dry before I could attach it. Oh. Um, so now the, the thought was that I could use an epoxy or something like that to attach the handle. But... I mean, I may do that and use it ourselves. You know what? No, it's ugly. It's really ugly. Yes. So I agree. I may, I don't know what I'm going to do with this one. Keep talking. I'm going to get this shelf out. All right. It's just, it's really ugly. What do you guys do if you pull something out of the kiln that isn't 100% what it should be? I mean, I probably should chunk it, but oh, I hate doing that. You good? I hate throwing things away. It bothers me. Um, I dropped, I dropped one of the salt and pepper shaker uh the well 
Yeah, I dropped it on top of one of my noodle bowl or one of my yarn bowls and broke the yarn bowl and broke the base of the salt and pepper shaker. So I did throw those away. Did you hear me, Bill Ware? I, I, did I hear threw you. them you away. Threw away. This, I just, oh, I hate it. This was the first one that I made and it turned out so cute. I love it. Well, I don't love the color, but whatever. I don't know. Next right. shelf. Next shelf. Hey, everybody, we're back. We had a, a momentary parent thing to do it was fun art tonight at the high school which was yeah. awesome um, saw some really great cool. pottery and a lot of paintings drawings um theater dance band stuff yeah it what was it was, it was chorus yeah chorus. it was there was a lot of good stuff you know if if you're not if you don't understand the science behind having kids participate in the arts you should go do some research <laughs> Anyway, all right, enough of a PSA. Now we've got one shelf left, and it's the sacrificial shelf of sponge holders. So let's we'll see what we got. So we're talking about doing some experiment stuff. We're doing some once firing just to see, you know, how it works with different clay and glazes. And um, so we'll see. Let's start with this one. It looks pretty good. Just a bunch of, well, you know what? Let's do this. Let's just run through all the. Oh, that's mine. Yeah, we'll run through all the sponge okay. holders. Yeah, this is just a, a piece that I did. It was an extra, a leftover piece. I just did a little um, decorative bowl. This was with, um, that's Tiger's Eye. And it's just a hand-built bowl. Thing. It's a bowl. It's a bowl. It's a bowl. All right. So all of these are on uh, standard clay's hazelnut. And this one looks pretty nice. These were all once fired. This is a combination of red gold by Coyote with uh, really red kind of drizzled in here around the top and on the inside. And then cobalt, a little dip on the rim there. It's pretty. It's nice. It's not exactly what I would like it to be. It, it looks better when it's been bisked and then dipped. So... Um, we're going to continue to do that route with two. What, bisque first? Bisque first, for, for the stuff that I do, yes. Let's take a look at this. Woo! It's got a little warpage to it. <laughs> what happens. Um, I believe that is going to be... Blue. That's the same thing as the other one that, that, yeah. that didn't turn out well. That's going to be bottom. the light blue chino. You can see it right up in there. It's just like, and it's that same same thing. Again, haven't had this problem on something that was bisqued. Like so that one. It's brown and, uh, and a smidge of blue. So it's a blue turd. <laughs> so, well, They'd go with my scoop. But, but, yeah, go with your scoop. Your poop scoop. Poop scoop. Oh, let's find a successful one, please. Hey, hey look at that. That model. That's modeled. Yeah. Modeled blue. I just love what this glaze does when it works it's got a vibrant blue with some really nice dark almost a tad of black but it's got a lot of brown in it as well <sighs> love it love it love it oh poplin let's see what's this one look like Ooh, what is that one hold that one up for me for a second i think that's ancient jasper that is ancient jasper believe it or not oh yeah that's pretty yeah. cool Ooh, you can see it on the inside, inside there. Yeah, Pretty. ancient jasper on the hazelnut once fired. Sweet. With some little carving down here. That's look at you there. getting all fancy. And stuff. Yeah, I know. Yeah, I didn't like the way the back, the bottom looks. <laughs> did some stuff to it. Let's see. I'm gonna have to get my notes out because I'm not sure, and I don't want to tell, tell you later. So we'll yeah. take a quick peek. All right. So yeah, this one. Took a look at my notes. This is Desert Sage. It's got a little different look than it does on my other clay bodies, which are generally little loafers and uh, Terra Red. But that's the hazelnut? That's the hazelnut clay, yeah. Who does it? I really do. Standard. I really do like the color of that clay, the raw clay. It's really nice. All right. And it looks like a hazelnut. hazelnut. Oh, might as well get this out of the way. Ooh. Uh, need I say more? So this was a Laguna MS63 gloss white on the 
that it was once fired. You know, I'm not an expert with all the glaze things. Uh, it's a possibility that it absorbed a little more than it would have been bisqued or the fact that this clay body and this glaze just may not like each other. So I'll do something again another time to test it out on a bisque piece with the same clay. See what it does. That's why it's important to test, test, test. You know, and like, you know, these aren't, these are easy to make. It doesn't take a lot of time, so I don't mind testing them. We're going to get something out of it. Yeah. There's the ancient gas, but that one worked. Uh, let's go. Ugh. I don't know what it is with the uh, Azurite, but it has not. That looks under fire. It has not been right. And it may be that it likes it a little hot. If you know, if you've used the Azurite, um, it's the Mako Azurite. If you, if you know that this works for you and you do it, you know, at a hot six or a seven, put that in the comments. I'd like to know without having to waste a whole bunch more pieces, time, and everything else. Anyway, we'll keep working at that one. And then one more. Yeah, light chino. Looks pretty nice. Got the light and the dark. It's a little darker than what I'm used to, but it's a different clay. So, anyway... Yeah, I think that wraps it up. It does. Let's come in here. So that was it. That's another kiln opening from Warehouse Creations. That's Jenny. I'm Bill. See you later. Bye. Bye.